Hello and welcome back to the continuation of our Planet Crafter series. As you can tell, we have just crafted a tiny base where we have been starting the terraforming process. And by inserting ores, we got some materials that we can put in and all that jazz. So speaking about that, I'm going to be picking up one more of these components and I'm going to go on an exploration trip. So until some of the components for requiring for everything unlock, we can have tier three backpack at the 2.5. We have this at one PPT, which is kind of rising and then heat, which will soon unlock the tier two veggie tube. I feel there's like not much I can contribute other than going outwards and exploring. To do that, I'm gonna be taking at least one food one of this and one more oxygen capsule just so I don't die of asphyxiation. Right. And I'm thinking I'm going to go towards the moon because honestly, I saw the there's on that way that there's ice and I'm just want to explore in every possible direction. I might be creating occasional pit stop along the way so that when I stop, I can refill everything that I have. Let's see. Okay, there's a crate. Maybe it would be a good idea to put something near the crate. Oh, what's that? Okay, there is something there. Hold on, let me see first at the crate. Do we have something useful? Shanga seed, cobalt, always useful. Iron, yes please. Aluminium, yes please. Fine, and I'm not gonna be touching the rest because then my this box is my treasure trove. Okay, what else do we have? There is another box. Hydration level low. I know, I know. That's fine. Um, I'm trying to find if I terraform this. There's a base over there. So maybe there would be a point where I actually build something temporary there while I explore the location. Whether or not I should build something here, I have no idea, honestly. Let us go here and we are going to be constructing ourselves a temporary shelter, right? Living the dream, you know, living the dream. Okay, where's the door? Oh, I need one more titanium. Shoot. I need more titanium. Please don't let me die. Okay, titanium. Come on. Oxygen level critical. I want to be getting in. I don't want to be spending this and there we go. Whew. Okay, that has been a little bit more intense than I intended it to. Water, food. Okay, replenished. I could actually maybe build a crate here. Oh, I don't have the iron. Okay, let's see what do we have here. We have more advanced materials, that's for sure. We have one iron. I'm actually going to be putting the crate here for all of the stuff that I find useful. Okay. So more advanced materials I place here, so I don't need to be thinking about them. Right. What else do we have? We have seeds, iridium, eggplant, space food I'm going to take with me, I, titanium and silicone. You know what? We do it like this. Bam. Perfect. Right. So what do we do here? We do, we put in eggplant, snipea seed, iridium. Yeah, that's good. Right. So the objective is to explore these things. And what do we have here? I can deconstruct this. Oh, the tier two solar panels. Oh, yes. Those are a good source of everything. What else do we have here? Storage crate. Oh, we have a blueprint microchip. And that's the stuff that I've been looking for, actually. Oh, look at this. Advanced stuff. Yes, please. That and fabric. Space food we don't need just yet. It might be a healthy snack some point later on. So it's these microchips that I'm trying to look after because <clears throat> microchips will help me unlock more stuff. And for that, I need a chip station. Okay, so these guys we put here, obviously. And let's see if we can find some more stuff to that what might, might that might be helpful yeah i'm apparently know how to speak trust me i've checked 
Okay, we can deconstruct the tier two solar panel. And what do we have here? We have Seleucid and Futurocid. Ooh, and Super Alloy. You don't say. One, two. I'll need more boxes over there. All right, fair enough. Shoot, maybe I could even do a crafting station so I don't need to run all the way back and forth. If I do a tier two crafting station, yeah, it's not that demanding, so why not, you know? Okay, so when it comes to this Celeo seed, I could be putting and for Teo seed. Do I have some ice? I have one ice, so in theory, I could be placing. Oh, I've just gotten another veg ve tier two veggie tube. So if I could make, uh, I could make something else. Okay, furniture. Let's put another storage container, and I'm gonna do a resorting a little bit now. So these things that are plant based, you go here. Do we have this guy as well? Advanced materials go here. Fair enough. Plant-based stuff goes there. So what do I need to... I need more, more ice to craft this Vega too, but I haven't yet scoured through the area if I have found everything that I'm supposed to be find. Everything I'm supposed to find. Okay, fabric, super alloy, uranium. I'm just now at the moment focusing on the only the rare stuff. Oh! Uh, water. Don't mind if I do. Let's check, is there something rare materials here? Yeah. Okay. Aluminium, Snapea seed, and Celeo seed. Yes, please. Right. Indoor leather. See, <clears throat> those are plants are unlocking as I'm exploring the area around, which I think personally is great. So, this actually might be a good place for a more expanded and involved base. What do I know? Uh, I just need to... Oh, tier 3 backpack. Now we're talking. Can I craft a tier 3 backpack? By all means. That would be mighty helpful. I'll need one more aluminium. I think I had one over here. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, let's dump these seeds. And super alloy and fabric. And I'm gonna be taking aluminium. So, tier 3 backpack. Show thy face. Okay. And I'm gonna actually create here the blueprint station because I need one more iron. Don't I have the iron? Oh, the irony of it all. Yeah, all right, I need more iron. Fair enough. Iron. Okay, then I create the table and I create the blueprint station so I know what's coming next. This looks like this will be become my new go-to base. What can I tell you? Okay, blueprints, I need more iron. Okay, fair enough. It's always the iron, isn't it? Always gonna be the iron. There's always this one resource that keeps you from winning. And this is titanium, silicone. Can I find more iron, please? Iron, thank you. And then hopefully we will be able to craft a screen with progress. That's what I'm at least hoping for. Because if I can craft that, then I'm in already set. Kidoke, I think this is all the iron I need. Oh, there's a box additional. Okay. Not gonna lie. Oh, another blueprint. Okay. So now we can actually start unlocking stuff. Fabric, iron. What do I have? Silicon titanium I have plenty then i'm good let's say oh titanium i don't might as well pick up a little bit of titanium doesn't hurt to have a little titanium in your diet dolomite interesting i think do we have any more titanium here maybe so i just pick it up on the way home yes we do perfect all right then we're gonna do the following fine so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go now and I am gonna craft, let's see what we, what we can craft. I have the tier 3 backpack and I can unlock stuff. So crafting the blueprints screen, yes, this is another copy, I know it's lame copy, I don't care. So decode the blueprint microchip, T1 mining speed, that's nice. 
I think I have another microchip over here. What is that one gonna be? T1 Agility Boots. Nice. So what do I need to produce these? Two aluminium, two fabric. I think I have all the ingredients. I have two fabric, two aluminium. Tier 1 Agility Boots. It is. Oh, I cannot carry anymore. Shoot. Okay. I'm gonna produce them nonetheless. Oh, I can produce this. Exoskeleton. That's the, the thing that I've been looking for. All right, so I'm going to move the microchip here, put the exoskeleton in. Microchip agility boots. Done. Beautiful. That's all that I wanted. Uh, mining speed microchip. Yes, please. And silicon and magnesium. All right, silicon and magnesium. I need more for the lighting. Silicon and magnesium. I'm going to be placing you, Sunshine, over here. Now I have plenty of cobalt. That's good, I guess. I would really like to craft... I need ice and silicone. Ice I clearly cannot craft, so I'm probably going to need to go to the ice caves over there. So that might need to be happening. Let's see if I can <clears throat> grab some more. I will need a water bottle. I think I have one, don't I? Yes, I do. Fair enough. I'll need food. Oh, for TO seed. Advanced materials. Yes, please. Napia seed. Iron. That's good. I'm not going to be picking all up just yet because I really hope that I would be able to find at least some ice. You know what they say, ice, ice, baby, to go, to go. And yeah, now I'm trying to find that ice because <clears throat> once I, I know that ice is over there and obviously I'll need some silicone, I think. Yes. Okay, there's ice, plenty of it. Okay, I think I'm going to grab four to be total just to be on the safe side. And let's see if I can find some silicone as well. I think there is silicone. Perfect. Okay, iron. Okay, I didn't intend to pick up that. Silicone. Okay, I think we're full. Yes. Okay, so going back, we have a tier 2 drill. And I think I'm going to be focusing on building out my new base next to that base over there. Because once we do oxygen level low, hydration level low, and when I'm running, I'm consuming extra oxygen. You don't say oxygen level critical. Can I get away with it? That's a real question. I'm guessing I will be able to. My health is slowly chunking. And there we go. So, consuming the water bottle and some space food. And here, chunking in all the Forteo seeds. And then we go with the advanced stuff. Oh, we have this over there. Okay, fine. So, can we produce a tier 2 Vega tube? Yes, we can. We're gonna be chunking it right along here. And then you want the plant with the highest multiplier that we have. We have, this is the 300, 354 Forteo. Yes, we're gonna do the Forteo seed, obviously. Right. <clears throat> That's being said. I think I could use, uh, not the screen, blueprints, energy levels. I need one magnesium for that. And magnesium is not hard to come by. I've seen it in plentiful chunks. Oh, meteorites. You don't say. Iron. And I need the microchip for the lighting. Oh, isn't that grand? That's funny. That's really funny, by the way. Okay, magnesium. Yes, silicone I have. Titanium might as well take some. All right. So, <clears throat> let's see about that plan. Now I can craft tier 2, which is nice, and I could craft some solar panels as well. So, tech station, I think I've crafted pretty much everything that I could here. So, tier 2 drill. One iron, two titanium. Why not? I think power-wise, those bastards are hungry. So, I'm going to place one, and it's immediately going to go... No, it's not. Can I craft one more? Two titanium needed for that. All right, what about the tier two heater? I need two iridium, titanium, aluminium. That might be helpful. So 
I have a radium, titanium. Do I have aluminium for that? No, I don't. I will definitely need aluminium for that. Torch microchip required. Yeah, I knew I wanted to craft something. What about for this torch microchip? I can craft it. Well, why don't I then? Perfect. Now, there we go. That's the spirit. That's what I was hoping to see. Now, what, what do we do with this one? Okie doke. I said I wanted some heaters, but I have a little bit of space here for the Vego tubes. Can I craft the progression so I can see like blueprints? How are we going with unlocks? Tier 2 solar panel is going to be at 17, so that's going to be a while. I don't need double bed or crusher, I don't need. Oxygen tank might be handy, so that happens by unlocking more oxygen. Okay, so if I produce more oxygen, that would be more Vego tube. So if I create a one more Vego tube, that might be beneficial. Pressure is going to be built up anyway, so I would say I should prioritize a new Vego tube. While I'm here, can I actually expand the base a little bit? I would need one more titanium for it. Can I find among all these fallen materials titanium? Yes, I can. Thank you. This is beautiful. Now, if I can, can I place this to the left or to the right? Living compartment that way? Nope. That way? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. There we go, and now all I need to do is another tier 2 Vega tube for which I need magnesium. Magnesium, I thought I had it somewhere along the route, so I'm actually going to check it out, and if I have magnesium, there is plenty, oh, that, there's some cobalt, yes, well, I don't want to leave cobalt lying around, to be perfectly honest, magnesium, look at that. Silicone, magnesium, oh, it's Bonanza here. You don't say, and magnesium. Okay, perfect. Now, that means I could craft another tier 2 Vego tube, very, very high plant index. And that should help us progress further. Where is this craft progress? That's the heat. Okay, so we'll need another heater. Fair enough. I'm probably going to be moving the stuff. Let's see, tier 2 Vego tube. And the power is gone. Okay. Uh, can I craft an uh, additional solar panel? Yes, I can. Perfect. I'm going to be crafting that then. Okay. Let's put this ladder here. Just beside. And then we're going to be planting the wood tier 2 solar panel. There we go. And... Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in business. Now pressure we can't vego tube we could if i had one more ice and yeah i think we need more ice for one more vego tube and that will actually help us advance greatly in terms of everything else oxygen wise so i need more ice and i have plenty of plants to you know cater for and grow so i'm gonna go to the ice hill and in the ice hill, I'm going to be picking up... Can I do... How many can I do? I can do four more ice easily. So I am not. don't regret it afterwards. Because then I could be crafting two Vego tubes. Yeah, ice, silico... Iron, silicon, and magnesium, and two ice. Iron, magnesium, iron, magnesium, silicone, and two ice. So I need more ice and one more silicone, I think. One more ice. Titanium, I'm not going to say no to titanium. And I'm going to take one more silicone and then I'm going to run downwards like my like the wind carries me. Once again, oxygen too low. Oh, this is, this is tedious, guys. Honestly, this really is tedious. Oxygen level is critical. Are you going to kill me? You know what? I don't care. Let's construct this. Oh, I don't have titanium. Oh, I have titanium. Hold on. Go, don't, don't kill me. Come on. Don't kill me. Whew. Okay. Now, Ed, you died and dropped some of your inventory. Shoot. And I was so close. I really hate dying and dropping some of my inventory. That's not a nice thing. I mean, there are not great consequences. This is my first death. Okay. Time of death. 
15 minutes into the game shoot okay, there's the box i'm gonna be picking up everything thank you very much box is gone now what i'm gonna do is deconstruct everything good magnesium yeah i was about to construct some vega tubes anyway so yeah plenty of that to go around now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to my medium base not the small base medium base and i'm gonna construct two more vego tubes and i'm gonna fill them with plants so okay let's see vego tube another one yes another vego tube yes there we go plants bonanza now our oxygen production should be shooting through the roof one two three there we go we put 300 seedless seed, here we put the Furteo seed, and here we put the Cerelus seed. This should be shooting our production sky high. So we we'll see oxygen, yeah, it's growing rapidly, that's nice. Next one is to unlock at 5, so we should be there in no time. E2 heater, we sadly don't have the aluminium for it yet, which actually bugs me to no avail. But I'm going to create a screen for the energy level so we can track that one as well. I could actually, hold on, I could actually move these things around. So you, Sunshine, are going to be in that corner. You don't take up too much space. You, Sunshine, are going to be much closer to it. There we go. And then we have to place for another screen over here. This uh, vegetative tube doesn't concern me a great deal. We have a more cobalt here and advanced materials we have here. The plants and everything else is temporarily walled off here. And honestly, I think it's a good enough place to wrap it up to our second base. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Oh, in which we will be building the tier 3 oxygen tank. This is Groundforks signing off.